Hey everybody, welcome back to the Odin Development Sports Show. I know it's been a few weeks. Uh, we've been through a lot of changes here in about the last month. And of course we had the holidays. So we hope everybody enjoyed your Christmas, your New Year, uh, Hanukkah, all those things. We hope you enjoyed it and uh, welcome back. So everybody, I uh, hope you guys are you know settling into your you know new cycles, new rhythms and all that kind of stuff. So uh, without further ado, we've got some awesome topics here and we've got some updates to give you. So the Barstool Sports update that we have for you. We've talked about this in the past. Barstool Sports has gone above and beyond to help small businesses that are struggling because of coronavirus. And just last week, Aaron Rodgers announced that he donated $500,000 to the, the fund uh, to support small businesses around the country. And once again, we just want to recognize them and obviously bring it to attention in case you're interested in donating. So really awesome initiative there. All right, um, next topic is going to be Bill's Mafia. So two parts to this. The first is, you know, the update. Um, we talked about this probably two months ago, maybe three months ago. Josh Allen, quarterback for the Buffalo Bills, grandmother passed away. And of course, the Bills fans who are unbelievably loyal, they're just incredible people. Uh, they donated, you know, $17 because Josh Allen wears number 17 to a local children's hospital um, and raised a ton of money in the name of his grandmother. So it was really awesome. Uh, I think they've raised over, you know, millions of dollars now at this point. But as the charitable nature of Bills Mafia continues, last night they defeated the Baltimore Ravens and uh, Lamar Jackson, who we've talked about on the show before, is, is an outstanding young man, an outstanding athlete. He unfortunately uh, ended the game with a concussion. And so, of course, Bills fans, with that charitable nature, found a charity that Lamar Jackson supports in Baltimore that helps bring uh, backpacks and school supplies to kids in the area. And they are now donating $8 a piece to the charity uh, in support of Lamar Jackson. So that's really awesome. We just want to recognize them uh, and all of their efforts. All right, third topic today is stadium assistance. Now this is something that really, I haven't seen a whole lot about until recently. Um, so this might have been happening uh, long before this, but I'd say over the past six months to a year, obviously, especially with you know coronavirus, uh, and then the, the election, we've seen a lot of professional sports use their stadiums, uh, their buildings, their arenas to support some of these initiatives. And it's just really awesome. We want to recognize a lot of those, those folks out there that are doing that. So to all the sports teams and the owners and uh, the, the management companies of these stadiums and these arenas, thanks for you know being a part of the community and helping out and reaching out to those folks when they're in need. So just awesome efforts uh, from those folks. All right, next topic, we've got the return of the NHL. So this past week uh, started the return of the National Hockey League. And uh, I will be the first to admit, I do not watch the regular season too much. I definitely enjoy playoff hockey. It's just a long season of a sport that I don't watch nearly as much as, say, football or baseball or soccer. Um, but a lot of people have been reaching out saying, hey, start a hockey season. So if you, you haven't been paying attention, it's back. Um, it is definitely fun to watch for sure. Uh, when you have the time, it's just a lot of games and a lot of stuff that you know I don't either know or understand, and that's on me. So I'll try to do better about that and bring some some good stories from the NHL to Odin development. But hope you guys enjoy that and hope you all enjoy uh, the start of hockey season. All right, final topic today, uh, not too sports related, but today is the 30th anniversary of our initial push in Desert Storm. Um, this is one of the more unique kind of battles because a lot of our parents and uncles and some of our older siblings maybe and a lot of people that I've had the pleasure and honor of working with and for uh, served in Desert Storm and Desert Shield. So just want to recognize that, you know, we are continuing to help out people around the world. In this case, you know, we were helping um, Kuwait uh, get rid of, you know, Saddam Hussein in Kuwait and uh, just wanted to kind of recognize all the veterans from Desert Storm and all those who have sacrificed and continue to sacrifice, uh, not only for, for us and for us to live freely and and in peace, but for all those around the world that we are continuing to support. So just want to recognize those folks too. So um, with that, uh, as always, we appreciate all the support. Uh, if you haven't seen it, we released all of our, our new 2021 uh, products. So all our speaking engagement possibilities. So please, you know, help us share that and spread that out. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to do in-person things as soon as, you know, coronaviruses die down a little bit based off the region. Um, but we can do virtual 
anything and we just finished recording our uh, videos for our full advanced leadership course so if you're interested in that or if you know people who are interested in that coaches administrators uh, athletic directors please let them know share our products uh, we're happy to help and reach out to us and we'll be happy to coordinate whatever we can so thank you again for all your support and as always we hope you have a great day